Uh, hello everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna uh, model TMD in SAP 2000. Uh, I have seen many people asking this question how to model TMD in SAP 2000, but uh, there was no uh, clear answer. So I figured out how to model this. Uh, before we go to the SAP 2000, let me give you some uh, idea about uh, the practical and uh, theoretical concepts of this system. Uh, TMD is a very popular device which is attached in the top of the structure uh, to control the wind and uh, uh, earthquake vibration. And this is Type P101 um, with a very large mass in the top of the structure. Uh, the mass is hanged on by cables and in the lower part there is a different type of hydraulic and viscoelastic damper. Uh, here is the picture of the TMD which is uh, installed in Type P10. Uh, this type of uh, damper is uh, viscous damper and they are elastic hydraulic dampers and also in the bottom of this uh, this system is a source of uh, isolation system uh, which can take the damper and uh, take the damper and uh, this two uh, damper can uh, control the vibration of this mass uh, which I said here is uh, the block mass the block mass and uh, this is the hydraulic hydraulic dampers and these two horizontal damper is also visco viscous damper this is the original picture of installation and location of TMT um, which is uh, hang on by cables and in the bottom is uh, uh, used some sort of dampers uh, to attach uh, with uh, surrounded structures and then it can control the structure movement uh, this was the practical uh, and I'm going to show you the uh, theoretical concept of, of this it is a book you can find it uh, written by Professor uh, Connor, uh, Structural Motion in Engineering. Uh, here is a very comprehensive detail of uh, modeling, designing, and uh, determining each of parameter. Just see, we have a single degree of freedom structure. This is our structure, and this structure is in a, in a mathematical modeling represented by stiffness and damping and another mass is attached uh, above of this structure to control the vibration of this structure so we should define this mass how much mass we should attach to the structure which can suppress the structure vibration and also uh, what type of device should use to uh, suppress uh, this the, the, this mass movements, uh, which is uh, in in type I have shown uh, that can be hydraulic damper, that can be viscous damper. Uh, each of these viscous damper and elastic uh, hydraulic damper has uh, stiffness and also uh, damping. This is a long uh, term of equations. You have to determine the first the frequency and the period of, of this structure. Then you will find the frequency and period of, of this, these masses. Then from this mass, you can determine the stiffness is required. The stiffness is required to control this mass and also the damping uh, coefficient. Uh, 
uh, if you couldn't find this book, uh, I will please put a comment in the uh, in, in in the description in the in the comment area. Then I will uh, upload this book uh, for you. Uh, so this is the theory of mass damper. So we will go to the modeling of of this uh, damper. Let's unlock this model. I already uh, built this model. This is a sample 2D frame. I use the default cross section. The thing is which I found I should determine is the total structure weight. The total structure weight is uh, the total structure weight is the vertical reaction of a joint. So if you uh, get this reaction, then you can uh, determine about 1% to 10% uh, mass to apply as a TMD structure. When you have 100 or, uh, or sorry, uh, when you have uh, the mass of the tune damper, which I applied in this region, I draw a joint here, I draw a joint, and then uh, with I linked with uh, a link uh, properties. So the link properties is represent the two uh, cable and damper. So the lower part is damper and the upper part is cable. So this is uh, restrained above of the structure or maybe uh, another uh, region which can control the movement of the cable just we allow to this mass should move and this device should have stiffness and damping to control the movement of this mass so here uh, we define the, the link properties uh, the link properties Actually, I define two. I'm gonna delete this one. Is I define uh, based on the total structure weight. Now you, it is depending your uh, uh, your project. Maybe you can use 3D model, and also you can um, use this for a very um, big project. So then, then your uh, total mass will be different. Uh, after that, you can uh, define uh, your mass and then determine this parameter. So I choose linear elastic uh, length, which is allowed to uh, uh, to define uh, in, in three direction properties. The first part is uh, I used uh, is uncoupled, uncoupled uh, with different mass. You can uh, based on the mass of tune mass, you can def uh, determine this uh, K1, K2, K3 in different direction. The, but the most is this K1 is should be uh, determined. And also the damping of this mass, the coefficient of this mass. So uh, I already defined this mass which can uh, tune the uh, structure and suppress the structure vibration this is the properties i defined to them uh, but you can use different uh, link uh, to attach uh, the upper parts of the tune mass number but i for simplicity i used uh, one link uh, for both now it's okay now, now we can see uh, the link here is it a link one or no? Uh, just uh, yeah, this is a line one or link one. Uh, we are completed with modeling with modeling of uh, ordinary structure and uh, with structure with TMD. So now we go to the define some function, uh, time history function to see the response of the both structure. So I already defined one is cosine function, 
with a time period of one second and a total uh, total time is five seconds so this property is you can apply uh, as much as you want uh, but uh, you should be careful with the uh, structure height because uh, <clears throat> structure with height uh, has uh, proportional uh, uh, impact with uh, period and frequency so and the second is a recorded uh, function uh, I choose from file and also you can uh, bring this uh, file from your uh, computer this is your move function here you can apply it time history function is here yeah <coughs> It's about 4,000. It's a very uh, a huge earthquake ground motion. It's recorded. Uh, then you can go to the define uh, define some load cases. Uh, here is your uh, your uh, allowed to do linear analysis, also non-linear analysis, but non-linear analysis much more uh, um, reliable and interesting. So I define the function here. Time history with nonlinear uh, FNA. FNA. <clears throat> uh, I define the U U1 uh, the function you move and it was it's about five four thousand a point and uh, is about uh, zero point two second steps. So I consider five percent dumping of the for 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 the structure for the original structure and then we will see the response with a tune mass damper. Uh, how much it increase the uh, structure response and the second is uh, time history for cosine is about five seconds I used 100 point is about 0 0.5 second of uh, scale factor one nonlinear just okay now everything is done just go to run uh, also uh, you have to define the model but I already defined this uh, easy part of the model analysis. Yes, this is the structure response. Uh, the first deformation is the cosine. You can see in 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 a first step, you can see the difference in u1 direction is about five, join nine, and also the structure is about uh, very small. To compare. It's, it's meter. Let me choose uh, mm. Yeah, uh, let me choose mm. This is about sorry. It's about uh, less than one mm, and this is about about uh, also half. <coughs> uh, and before we plot something, you can uh, note this is joint nine and this is uh, joint eighteen. So we go to the display plus some function. Uh, so I already plotted this is joint nine, which is the uh, without tune mass damper structure, and this is 18 with tune mass damper. So now let's go to plot. Yeah, here is it. So how much it is uh, impact the structure? So the uh, joint 18 is the tune mass damper seems very lower acceleration and the uh, red line which represent that without and without TMD so it's higher acceleration uh, we can save this for our rec video recording you can here here is a you can uh, change okay and now we go to de define some uh, another function such as uh, displacement or displacement we can put nine uh, it can be displacement in new direction okay and then go again uh, go to 18 and okay <clears throat> so this is nine two nine uh, eight two is the displacement so we go to remove yes uh, Shift is two together, and then see. 
yeah, the same uh, the displacement is change, which is the maximum is uh, 240 millimeters, but in 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 uh, TMD structure is about half. So uh, it seems about 50 percent the uh, then decrease the structure response. This, sorry, this structure uh, displacement. We also can save this. We can call uh, this displacement. Okay. And uh, let's see the uh, cosine function, uh, which is the same displacement. Yeah, here is it. The same change is made uh, for uh, cosine. Since the TMD displacement is less, is about maybe 30% uh, less than. And also, we can uh, uh, see the acceleration. This two is acceleration. Yes, quite interesting. It's about 50 or 60% reduced the structure of vibration. So uh, there is some uh, discussion on, on, on this part, uh, on this, this part, but I'm not going to there because uh, the lower height structure, lower rising structure, the lower structure has some uh, sensitivity for the uh, short period. <coughs> now uh, for uh, better understanding or visualization we can uh, make some video to see but before this i'm gonna display the display the uh, <clears throat> so this is the display yeah you see create video and we can choose uh, which uh, but I'm going to the recorded uh, time is about 80 seconds and the same 4000 uh, point and uh, magnificator was 10 so this sorry but I'm going to stop it uh, because I'm going to use uh, one more things this is the shoe graph you can use the displacement yes and uh, yeah, here is it. Sorry, it was a uh, displacement for I'm gonna one more time. Displacement choose uh, graph time history. This is it. Yes, this is a video, but uh, I'm going to do dif display display show plot function i'm going to here uh, plot yes i'm going to save this plot as uh, time is three uh, a year more this is a year more and add new plot okay okay we go to again uh, create a video and this time we choose time history get more okay that's it yes Uh, you can see the uh, the structure without a TMD is uh, deflection more and 
uh, for TMD, just TMD is working. Uh, we have to control the TMD uh, deflection because it's very important. Uh, so for this uh, uh, recording, uh, it seems uh, deflection is very high. Yeah, it's done almost. I'm gonna stop it. So this was the TMD modeling in in SAP 2000. Uh, you can apply this for a 3D uh, project, but a 3D project uh, will consume a lot of time to discuss. Uh, if there is any question uh, regarding modeling of these and calculation, anything. And also, if you're interested to have this model, I will uh, please put a comment and I will give you this model. You can uh, check in your computer. And thank you for your watching. If there is any question, uh, please let me know. Thank you.